Have you ever joined the hive and found a player with cosmetics that look something like this or this or maybe even this? Well, there's an easy way to get that for yourself. So what you're going to need to actually get started with this is IOVA Unlocker, which is where you'll need to essentially do everything for this. You will, of course, also need the pack you want to add to your Minecraft. Also, you want to you want some kind of uh, bypass Minecraft pack. Skin pass, skin bypass would work. Loading bypass will also work. So what you're gonna need to do is you wanna start off by opening IOBit Unlocker. Now what you want to do is before you do anything else, you wanna create a persona folder like so. You wanna have a folder named persona like so. Now what you need to do after that is go into your flat, uh, oh my God, I opened more than one. Now what you need to do is you need to go into your Minecraft folder, like your data folder that should look like this. I have a bookmark here, but there's a pretty easy way to get to where I'm at now. All you need to do is go to your Windows, your, uh, your main Windows drive, I, think, I guess you can call this. And from here, you may see some folders that you wouldn't probably know, wouldn't normally see in view. Just in case you cannot see folders such as program data or recovery or system.sav. Just make sure you go to your, go to the icon with three dots here. You would then go to options and then go to view and then you have to select show hidden files, folders and drives. Once you have that selected, now you can go into your program files. Then you can go into windows app then scroll all the way down to where it says Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. But once you're here, you're then gonna go to data and then skin packs, persona. Oh, well, actually you don't need to worry about that. That's just for the last attempt. But yeah, you will just need to now delete that folder. Delete it right off your computer. All right, so now you have this folder. You wanna drag that into IABL Unlocker here and you wanna select the little arrow here, followed by a lock and move or a lock and copy, uh, neither of which matters. But now what you want to do when it says to browse for a folder, you will need to go back to that uh, folder that I just showed you. Follow the same steps I mentioned before by going to program files and windows apps. Make sure you have that one setting on to where you can see the hidden folders. You will need once again to go to Minecraft UWP, then go to data right here. And then you will need to go to your skin packs and then that's where you're gonna click okay. So press okay right there and you should say unlock and move successful or something like that. Now what you're gonna to need to do is to go into your folder with your skin pack, open it up to where you find all your skins like this. What you're gonna now wanna do is you wanna select everything. So in my example, I would be pressing control A. So everything in the folder would need to be selected and then dragged over to uh, IOBIG Unlocker. It'll take a minute depending on the size of a skin pack. And now what you want to do is go ahead and select, again, either unlock and move or unlock and copy. Neither of which matters, but what you want to do now is to go to, is just click one of the two, follow the same exact steps you took before to get to your skin packs folder inside of the game. Yeah, just scroll through here like that, bam, bam. Then this time you want to select the persona folder you just added in there, have it go into that. You know, again, it'll take a minute depending on the size of the skin pack. And once everything is done, once everything has been copied successfully, you can exit IOBIT Unlocker. Now, the last thing you should do is you want to click, you want to open up Minecraft by using either the skin pass MC pack here or the loading bypass one. All right, so now Minecraft should be open up in your computer, like so. Don't worry about this, this shouldn't matter. What should matter is though, is if you go to your dressing room or whatever it's called, you wanna go to your skin pack and you should see that your skin pack has indeed made it into the game. Like this, cosmetics and all. Then you see your wings here, for example, or you can have like a moon behind your head or something like that. With certain skins with wings like these, you would need to make sure that you do not have a cape on for them to actually show. Yeah, I just wanna put that out there. But every other skin you can use a cape for. Right, for example, I'm gonna use 
this one because yes. Oh wait, once again, you want to pick off the cape if you want the wings to load. All right. So I am a full-blown e-girl. I'm gonna join the hive. <laughs> Never thought I would say those words. Right, as you can see, I am using a actually a 4D model or what they call it now, a 4D model skin on a server, and yeah, it should be just like just like those people in hubs that just sit there doing absolutely hecking up. Okay, you you were me. Okay. Point of it is, you should something like that. You could also have that a pack that has zombie arms. You could also use that in Minecraft. Like you see, I'm actually seeing it. But yeah, this is how you can actually get any skin pack on a Minecraft Bedrock that has 40 cosmetics such as these.